got back in from dropping Chandler off. And we've had a great day. Um, I know I made videos. I know there's a lot of you who detest me. Whoa, she drama queen. She loves the attention. Um, she's at it again. Pity her. Um, I really don't care what you think about me. I really don't care if you are laughing because of these videos or if you're humored or if you get sick and tired of them. You know, there's an unfriend button. There's a um, block button. There's an exit sign out of my life. No one's forcing you to listen to any of this to put up with me. No one. A lot of people get sick and tired of reading my post. I've had a lot of, oh my gosh, she's writing too much. I don't want to read it. I can't stand hearing all of this or something like that. So the best way to get your attention is like this. And it's not that I want your attention. There's certain things that I have to get my point across, especially when it comes to me being harassed, when it comes to my safety, when it comes to respect, or something I feel is important, then this is it. So, the reason why I'm doing this one right now is for one, it's like a therapy session. There were certain things that I want to address. And I feel like couples really need to hear this. Um, first, the day with Chandler was great. Best day ever. I mean, every day with him is. Um, second, if you still are judging me and throwing stones at me because of my decision with Chandler, just leave. You... <sighs> You have no idea what goes on behind the doors, what goes on in my life, what I deal with, what decisions I had to face. You want to keep judging me and you want to keep ripping me apart, just leave. I only need people to support me and encourage me. I don't need people to pity me. I don't need it. You have three options. Say I'm proud of you for how far you've came. I'm here for you. Or you're too much for me and I'm exiting. So those are your options. But um, with my video from yesterday, I gave men the option to leave me alone. That I've had enough. That I'll bl be blocking them and stuff. I was pretty shocked. I mean, I, I've had my fair share of EPOs of men, of a lot of things that I've been through that I, I really don't share unless you're close to me. But the statement that was made today, it was really brazen. I'm allowed to call you whatever I want to call you whenever I want to. There was never an apology. You know, it wasn't just disrespect toward me and the names that I was being called just by one person, but multiple. It was also disrespect toward the guy that I was crushing. Okay? It was disrespect toward him because I made it clear to me and the guy that I was crushing on that my focus was him. That I wanted an opportunity with him. That we didn't know if there was going to be anything. But 
I was telling everyone to give a space that I wanted for it to happen. And no one would just leave me alone. Because of my kindness, because I said thank you, or because I said, oh, okay, have a good day, or because of something that I said, you misconstrued it, and, and because I was honest, because it said that I wasn't interested, it made you go and fuck up an opportunity with somebody that I was really interested in. How's that fair? I mean, I don't like the attention. I don't. I'm a person who likes to help people. I like... I've been in a lot of bad situations. And I've had men who I've helped who's been in bad situations. So is it wrong of me because I've offered a helping hand in their bad situations to where they're like opening up to say, hey, I'm going through this hard spot. And it's like, you know, you've got someone that you can talk to. Did did that, like, fuck everything up to, like, make you think wrong? Like, like, that there was something more? I mean, excuse me, I'm sorry. It just, it really sucks. Because I've learned a lot after that nine-year relationship ended. And then I got into my relationship with the one guy who's a good guy. Yeah, I fucked it up with him and stuff. But then this recent guy that I was crushing on, excuse me, I learned a lot with him. It took a lot to get to him. The guy that I was crushing on, there was a lot of honesty that I gave him. And I thought honesty was something that we should give. It's not easy to go through the things that I've been through with somebody. And I opened up about some of it. And he was willing to still take a chance on me. And that's pretty brave for a man to do that. And yet it got fucked up. Because I was honest. Because I was kind. Because men misconstrued things. You know, I'm done helping people. You want my advice? Get it from my writing. I mean, as females, it's fine. But men, no. Because that statement from him was brazen. I mean, 2019 was one hell of a year sexually violated verbally abused mentally abused privacy violated I had men who just couldn't grab their balls and say well this is the reason why we're not going to meet up or I choose her or something like that or um my landlord trying to um, break into my apartment and use his power of authority and basically want to rape me. And then a police officer say, well, look me dead in the eyes and say, I can't do anything. Move. You have no idea the things that I go through. You have no idea the struggles, the battles, my health, the fact that I had to be put off work. You don't know anything. You have no right to my body. You have no right to call me these names, to disrespect me. I get to say no. I get to say who I want to be with. That's my choice. It's not your choice. And it is a huge disrespect when I'm trying to... When I'm interested in someone... And I'm trying my best to give them that piece of me, especially after opening up to them. And then for you just to go fuck it up 
and then you don't even apologize, and then you have enough nerve to say I can do whatever. I mean, it's not just one, it's more than one. I've had men who's like, you know, you owe me a picture. Give me your time. Talk to me now. As if I'm some sort of piece of property, some piece of meat. When two people are trying to make something work, don't go fuck it up. Don't go disrespect it. That's just wrong. When two people are trying to be honest with each other, don't go fucking with their feelings. We're adults. And we need to man up. We need to say where we're at, where, we're at, where we stand at, whether we're a player, whether we're in for marriage, whether we're in for it for just games, hitting it in the sheets, if we're just toying for feelings, for the side chick or whatever. We just need to man up to it. We need to quit with the childish stuff. I've been hurt enough and it takes a lot for me to say the things that I say or to expose myself to what I do, but I don't do it. For you to sit there and pick me apart and for you to analyze me, to judge me and throw stones at me. You don't like me, that's perfectly fine. Get out of my life. I don't need you. My friends who have been here, who have listened to me, who have been the shoulder that I've cried on, who have said I've got your back, who have sent me Bible verses because we share the same faith, those are my friends. I've been allowed to live on my own without a man viewing me as a target. I will be owning a gun because I have the right to defend myself. I will be living on my own again because my health is getting better. I did get that good news from the doctor, so I do have good things coming ahead of me. The thing with Chandler, it's not going to be easy. And that pains me. But... I would give every ounce of happiness I have for that little boy, for his happiness. And you should never judge the things that you don't know. So that's all that I really wanted to come across on this. But um, I've had my fair share of stalkers, obsessors, people to disrespect me. And... When my friend and I talked last night, I really appreciated his advice. And yeah, I've had some to outlash. Don't go asking me what was said, who is it, or anything. It's my business. I can take care of it. I can take care of myself. And the one thing that I do want to say in regards to my friend what's different between him and these other men is that the other men that said, well, we'll meet up, we'll do this or whatever, they couldn't find their balls and tell me, well, hey, you're too much for me. You wasn't ready for a relationship. Well, she's prettier than you or I wanted her or something like that. There was no honest communication. It was always excuses. With him, he found his balls. He manned up and he told me, he's like, you know, distance is an issue. I'm vomiting every damn time these men are all over you. We actually had a conversation. And yeah, it fucking hurt. But it's life. At least he was a man about it. And at least we're friends. And I appreciate him. And I wish him the very best. And I only want everyone to have a happy relationship. And maybe one day, if I decide to ever date, or if I ever run into my future husband, maybe he'll thank him for that. For me finally figuring out this, sticking up for myself, finally. 
I don't know. But right now, it's just myself, my son, and my health. I'm not interested. So don't think anything differently. Just don't. I'm not your therapist. I can't help you. I'm helping myself. My cup is full. I need to fix myself. I'm here as a friend. That's it. I wish you the best.